everybody. It's your old pal, the Moo Cow. I'm here with the monkey here in uh, Sick Flick Production Studios, and we are doing a haul video for the month of June. So, without further ado, let's get cracking on what the Moo Cow managed to pull in today. So, first thing we've got are our Blu rays, and I've got eight Blu rays, and I guess we will start off with the ones that are. Probably good Blu-rays. So, first one is an HBO one, and it is Lovecraft Country. Woohoo! Very very cool. Um, I've actually not watched this, but all I keep hearing is all kinds of great great things about this. And you know, HBO is like the flagship of good television anymore. So, I can imagine. Plus, it's it's all Lovecraft stuff. So you gotta love that. Um, and it's a POC Lovecraft story, which makes it even more interesting. So I definitely wanted to check it out. Again, everybody I've heard through has said that this is great. And this comes with all kinds of extras and specials. And there's eight little featurettes and all kinds of neat stuff. So season one, Lovecraft Country. Can't wait to check that out. Next, we have one that I always love. This is a, a classic film. A Bridge Too Far in Blu-ray, which is really, really cool. Um, you know, as far as a war movie goes, this one didn't get quite the accolades as it probably should have, but this is like one of the last old-style Hollywood type of film where they actually use the real shit. I mean, when you're watching the, the, the scene where all these planes are up in the air going over the city, that's not CGI, that's the real stuff. And this is one of the very last films that actually does that and has like real tanks and real equipment and real things. It's, it's you know, the reality is, is there. The film is grounded in reality. So for that alone, it, it makes it a really technically interesting, very, very film. And plus, you know, it's got this, this great cast, Robert Redford, Lawrence Olivier, Sean Connery, Anthony Hopkins, all kinds of great people are in there. And um, it's just really, really, really good. It's kind of, it's kind of forgotten. Um, and I'm, I saw it on Blu-ray, and I was like, oh, yeah, snapping that up. Next one is a George A. Romero movie that I've actually not seen. I always presume George A. Romero is going to be on the good side. Of course, you never know. But we have Survival of the Dead with that cool kind of flippy, changey um, box cover, which is pretty neat. And in Blu-ray, this is the ultimate undead version. So... This should be fun. This was put out by Magnet, who are putting out a lot of cheap Blu-rays right now. Which is cool. Do you pardon me? It's late at night and I'm getting tired. So that should be fun. Um, all right, this next one, I must be, I'm convinced, I'm not really sure if it's going to be a good one or a bad one. It could be a mediocre one. But it is Centurion. It's another Magnet. And um, this one's got Michael Fassbender, Dominic Wiest, and Olga Kirilenko. So... I'm assuming this will probably be pretty good, but you never know. It could also be a disaster, so that could be fun either way. And the other four, I think, are pretty much going to be uh, stinkers, or at least they look pretty stinky anyhow. So the first one we have is called Bounty Hunter. And this is, uh, gosh, it's got all kinds of people. Um, Christiana Logan, Christian Piter... Barack, Barack Hardley, Eve Jennifer, Beverly D'Angelo, Kevin McAlee, and Gary Busey. So you know if it's got Gary Busey in it, it's going to be uh, worth watching. And it's uh, directed by Henry Saint. So the Road Warrior meets Kill Bill. How could you not want to see that? Next we have something called Forenzi. And I'm assuming, oh yeah, this is, this is going to be a shitty shark movie. There's your... Shark Buddy right there. See that? And this has Aubrey Reynolds, Taylor Jorgensen, and Gina Vittori. Don't know it. Um, so, uh, yeah. People crash. They got to fight off sharks, as you do. Should be interesting. Next, we have something called The Fifth Wave. So it's some kind of uh, wackadoodle science fiction movie. Um... Gosh, uh, Ron Livingston's in there, and Maggie Schiff, and Alex Rowe, and uh, Liv Schreiber. I don't really know who else uh, is in here. So, I don't know. 
we'll have to see, but clearly this is one of those uh, post-apocalyptic universes and um, happens after the Earth has been decimated by aliens. Oh, excuse me. And then the last one is a guaranteed stinker. It's one that I've been very curious about, and I've all, again, I've, I've heard a lot about this, only this one, it's all negative, and we are talking Gotti with John Travolta, and um, yeah, I've heard all sorts of stories about this and how bad this is, so this looks like it's destined for a blue cheese episode, so should be a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> so that's the end of the Blu-rays. I'm going to take a little sippy here. And that means it's time to move on to our DVDs. And I've got 32 of them this week, this month, so strap in. Um, this is going to be, uh, it's kind of not really put together very well, but that's okay. I'll just pull them out as they come. First one we have is another Nicolas Cage movie called Humanity Bureau. And you know, I, I love me some Nick Cage. He's always either crazy over the top nutso or he's actually pretty good. So you never really know what you're going to get when it comes to Nicolas Cage. And, um, you know, I can't help but always want to do a Nicolas Cage movie whenever they're out there. So I grabbed it. Next we have a triple feature of movies that I do not recognize, including Half Cast, Hell's Gate, and The Demon Within. And this all comes from Screen Media Films, and I don't know anybody involved in any of this. So, who the heck knows what's going to happen there? Next, we have a film called Long Time Dead. And it is uh, directed by Marcus Adams, and it's got Joe Absalom, Laura Belmont, Melanie Guttridge, Lucas Haas, James Hiller, and some folks that I do not know. And it's about a bunch of college kids who are out playing around. And, of course, they play with a Ouija board because that's what college kids do when they're drinking. And, um, yeah, that's when the fun and shenanigans happen. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, then we've got uh, a uh, 12 set. This is the Girls, Guns, and G-Strings movie collection. Can't beat that with a stick. So this is going to have a bunch of Andy Sedaris kinds of films. So basically boobs and guns. So we are talking The Dallas Connection with Julie Strain, Day of the Warrior with Julie Strain, Do or Die with Donna Spear and Eric Estrada, Enemy Gold with uh, Julie Strain, Fit to Kill with Donna Spear and uh, Roberta Vasquez, okay, Guns with Eric Estrada, Donna Spear, and Roberta Vasquez. Hard Hunted with Donna Spear, Roberta Vasquez. You know, I'm getting a, I'm getting a theme here. Hard Ticket to Hawaii, which is a classic stinker, with Donna Spear and Hope Marie Carlton. Oh, I love Hope Marie Carlton. Malibu Express, another stinker classic, with Darby Hilton, uh, Hinton and Sybil Danning. The Picasso Trigger with Steve Bond, Donna Spear, and Hope Marie Carlton. Uh, Return to Savage Beach with Julie Strain, and finally Savage Beach with Donna Spear, Hope Marie Carlton, and John Apria. So, and as bonus material, it's got the original movie trailers and introductions from Andy Sedaris. Thanks, Andy. We appreciate it. We appreciate your efforts in the boob adventure genre. Next, we have a movie called Open Grave. And this is with Charlto Copley, Joseph Morgan, and Josie Ho. And I don't really quite know what this is. It's from Tribeca Film, and it's directed by Gonzalo Lopez Gallego. Um, but it looks like a guy wakes up with no memory and tries to figure out what the hell's going on, and then people want to whack him, so he's got troubles and shenanigans to deal with. Excuse me. Next, we have a movie called The Shadow Man. He's a shadow man, and he's got a shadow plan. Based on the infamous Shadow Man legend, a newly newlywed photographer is stalked by a dark man in a brimmed hat who follows her from her nightmares into reality. I hate when that happens. It's so irritating. I mean, you're not going to have any good things that ever follow you from your dreams, do they? No. Um, 
Directed by Joshua Froman and starring uh, Sarah Jorgen, Adam Tomlinson, some other people I don't know. We'll see. Next one is called Storage 24. Ooh, storage movies. Yeah, there's nothing quite as scary as, um, as being put in a facility. Well, apparently there are these people that are, turns out they wake up in a, in a, in a storage facility and they're being stored for some kind of illicit experiments and they're trying to get away and who the heck knows, but it looks like there's at least one crispy critter in there. So we will find out. Next one, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. You might be the killer with my girl, my heartthrob, my love of my life, Alison Hannigan, and with Frank uh, Rance. Uh, with the, uh, I guess it's directed by uh, uh, Brett Strong, okay? And audio commentary, Brett Simmons and Thomas Vitale. And uh, yeah, that should be interesting. I'll pretty much watch anything with Alison Hannigan. Anything. Call me Alison. Okay, next group. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, we got a double, the Shadow Man. I don't know how that worked out. All right, Moody, looks like you're getting a bonus film. Uh, oh, looks like we have another George A. Romero movie, isn't it? Yeah. Zombie Diaries 2? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Uh, no, it's not. But it is zombies, so Zombie Diaries 2. So you got to love a zombie film. Next, we have a film called Trick. And this is with Omar Epps, Ellen Adair, Christian Reyes, Jamie Kennedy, and Tom Atkins. And it's from the director of My Bloody Valentine. Not the really cool band, but the sort of mediocre slasher film from the 80s, which is uh, Patrick Lucener. Next, we have something called The Possession Experiment. And I presume this is about somebody who gets possessed. Yep, somebody... Uh, has his world theology class project and explores the dark world of exorcisms, and that's always going to end well. And this stars Chris Miner, Jake Brin, Nikki Jasper, and KT Finale with Bill Mosley. And it's directed by Scott Hansen. Okay, moving right along, we have a movie called Dead Sights. And uh, this has got Liv Collins, Adam Siebold, and Rye Barrett. Uh, so this is about a pregnant police officer who's about to go on maternity leave, but on the last day she wakes up to her world ravaged by nightmarish and bloody plagues of the living dead. It always happens right before you retire. Don't know why, just can't wait. Next we have a movie from Shudder called Boar. So evil pig with tusks running around goring everybody in sight. Directed by Chris Sun, starring folks that I do not know, but... It's an Aussie movie, so hopefully they will put a shrimp on the barbie for us and let those piggies run wild. Okay, next we have America's Most Haunted. So it looks like this has got bonus movies. It's got four bonus movies. So in addition to America's Most Haunted, we have a movie called Bay Coven with Woody Harrelson. Wow, that must have been slumming there. Then we have Midnight's Child. Don't know anybody in that one. Daughter of Darkness, which I presume is not the... Oh, this is the Stuart Gordon version of Daughter of Darkness with Anthony Perkins. Okay, that should be interesting. And finally, Haunted from Within uh, by Rina Fernandez. So, okay. That's five movies in one, baby. Gotta like that. Speaking of bonus movies, the next group are a bunch of bonus movies because nothing like the Moo Cow loves better than buying one disc and getting multiple movies. Right, Monkey? So, the first one is for a movie called The Archer. And it's about someone who is an archer. And in addition to the Archer film, we've also got Taken in Broad Daylight and a movie called Headhunter, The Assessment Weekend. I'm not sure what that's about, but it looks like it's very interesting. All of these are not rated and have adult situations and violence and profanity. So, lock up the kids. Next triple feature is a movie called The Ghost Beyond, and with that movie comes Beneath the Mississippi and Legacy of Evil. 
So probably some kind of uh, ghosty, spooky, horror movie kind of combo, which is cool. Next we have, looks like an adventure triple pack. Treasure Hunters. And uh, of course you got to love the uh, babe and boob armor and, an arch, and another uh, bow and arrow. And this one also comes with Pacific Inferno with Jim Brown and Legend of the Sea Wolf with Chuck Connors and Barbara Bach. So that should be fun. And the final two fur or three fur is one called Alterscape with Charles Barker and good old Michael Ironside. Always love him. And in addition, there's also two movies, one called Hologram Man uh, with somebody by the name of Slash Gallagher and The Silencers. So, okay, should be interesting. Boy, Michael Ironside has gotten older, so haven't we all? All right, next group here is, let's see here, a movie called Dark by Noon. So I'm thinking this is some kind of environmental disaster. It's got Patrick Buchanan, Michael Flaherty, and Anthony Murphy. And uh, let's see here, Lisa Thurman, and it's directed by Alan Leonard and Michael O'Flaherty. So there you go, sci-fi thrill ride. We'll see about that. Next, we have a movie that is The Office Space Meets Battle Royal. So that should be fun. The Belko Experiment. And um, so it's Belko Industries where it's a normal workplace, but then they make all the, all the workers kind of go through all these crazy shenanigans and then they end up turning on each other or they're forced to turn on each other and kill each other as you do. And uh, let's see here. So John Gallagher Jr., Tony Goldwith, and um, uh, ooh, Michael Rooker. Always like a movie with Michael Rooker. So that should be fun. Next has what looks like it's going to be a shitty CGI World War II movie. But look who is involved. It's a movie called Phantom, and it's got Ed Harris and David Duchovny. I never thought I'd ever see a movie with Ed Harris and David Duchovny in it. I mean, my God, how awesome is that? And, uh, oh, I see, so this is a Cold War movie, so it's a Soviet submarine armed with nuclear missiles going missing in the Pacific. And uh, there you go. Wow. And uh, William Fitchner from Armageddon is in there, too. So, all right, Todd Robinson, hopefully you gave it your best directorial efforts. Next, we have a movie called Aftermath. And this one has got, let's see here, Edward Furlong, Monica Kina, Andrea Royo, Jesse Russo, C.J. Thomas, Christine Kelly. And it is directed by Peter Engert. And it is RLJ Entertainment. And it looks like one of those other post-apocalyptic survival places where everybody has to do all kinds of crazy shenanigans in order to stay alive. So, always a fun movie to watch. And let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about almost ten movies left. All right, so next one we've got is a movie called Stage Fright with Allie McDonald, Doug Smith, and, ooh, Minnie Driver, and Meatloaf. Oh, dear, that's an interesting combination. And let's see, it's a genre-bending glee meets Rocky Horror musical comedy. Oh, God. Starring teenagers uh, who wants to follow in her mother's footsteps and become a Broadway diva and stuck. She's working in the kitchen and goes nuts and kills everybody. So, oh, well, she has to deal with somebody who goes nuts and kills everybody. So I hope there's not much singing in that. We shall see. Next is a uh, sort of scanners reboot, and it's called The Mind's Eye. So that should be anything interesting. And um, uh, written and directed by Joe Bigos with Graham Skipper and Lauren Ashley Carter and John Spurticos. Boy, I'll tell you, some of these fonts are really unreadable. It's hard to tell. But that's what it is. It's, they, it's called the, the Scanner sequel that we never got. I think there was a Scanner sequel. It just wasn't very good, as I recall. Next, we have a movie that looks like it's going to be kind of a com comedy horror. And it's called Officer Down. D-O-W-N-E, ha, ha, ha. And uh, that's another magnet movie. And it's got Kim Coates, who was at Scares the Care. Always got to love Kim Coates. And with uh, Lorna Luna Velez 
and Meadow Williams and some other folks. And it's supposed to be a wisecracking cop on the Rampage movie. So Rampage maniac cop kind of thing. We shall see. Next is a movie that I probably wouldn't have gotten other than for the cast. Because sometimes an interesting cast can really make a film. Even if the film is kind of, you know, the subject matter is not that interesting. But here's a movie called Josie. And the cast includes Sophie Turner from Game of Thrones, whom I like, and Dylan McDermott. Never would have thought I'd seen a movie with Sophie Turner and Dylan McDermott. So that'll be interesting. It says, the residents of a small southern town are forever changed when the tattooed, sweet-talking stranger Josie, which is Sophie Turner, struts into town and strikes up relationships with a local young punk and her loner neighbor, Hank, who's Dylan McDermott. And then she becomes the hot topic of local gossip and then... All kinds of other fun and shenanigans comes to light. We shall see. Next is a movie called Clay. And it's not Cassius Clay. This is a BBC movie with uh, Imelda Staunton and Ian McElhenney. And um, I think this is, yes, this is a Gollum kind of movie. So somebody makes a uh, old-fashioned, Old Testament Gollum out of clay to get revenge, and then they send it out there to kill, kill, kill. So that should be fun. Next, we have a movie called Hostage. Comply or die. So, this is an SP releasing, directed by Paul Reuven, starring Jason London, Stephanie Justin, er Ergen Simsek, and a few other folks I really don't know anything about this. It's an Echo Bridge Acquisition Corp. LLC. But basically a guy wakes up, he's locked in a strange room, he has no memory of who he is or what's going on, and he's got to figure it all out. And there's a bunch of people with guns trying to shoot holes in him, as you do. So you got to deal with it. Um, next one we have, the, 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 see, I'm trying to save the most interesting ones for last is a some kind of wackadoodle Japanese movie, and it's called Birth of the Wizard with Echo Echo Azar Azarak 2. So I guess that's the, the actual name of it, and then Birth of the Wizard is the English title. The future is in the mercy of this little girl, and if it's a little girl in a uh, schoolgirl uniform with a sword, you know I'm going to be all over that. Um, and it looks like it comes with uh, making of and... Um, some extra footage and trailers and interviews and all kinds of extra stuff. But it says, When the cursed tomb of the witch Kyrie is uncovered, a power powerful ancient evil is unleashed on the earth. As you do. And it's setting sights on Kuro Misa. Jumping from body to body, using people as hosts, the evil will stop at nothing to find her and kill her. Birth of the Wizard is a story of a young teenage girl on the run with a mysterious guardian who helps her realize her own incredible supernatural powers. And uh, the power to make sushi, hopefully. So, yum. And then finally, uh, I got a couple of special movies that should be very, very interesting. Uh, so, this is from James L. Edwards, and it is a movie called Her Name is Krista, or her name was Krista. Uh, Love conquers all, sometimes even in death. And so, yes, this is that infamous James L. Edwards movie that has some uh, necromancy kinds of stuff going on here. So that should be kind of interesting and possibly cringeworthy, possibly boundary testing. So I'm always in the mood for that. Um, can't wait to see this. Like just about anything from James L. Edwards, he's always wonderful. And then, speaking of James L. Edwards, his latest and greatest, Brimstone Incorporated, which I believe is a anthology movie, which has got all kinds of uh, stuff coming from other people. Yes, it is. And we've got, let's see here, Brad Twig and uh, uh, Sasha Graham, Kaylee Williams, love the Kaylee Williams, uh, Tim Hale, uh, Shiani Dye, uh, Rick Germain, Drew Frontier, Jeff Berkman, and it's uh, an anthology in the in the tradition of creep show, body bags, trick or treat, but basically the devil's business and business is booming, so that it's sort of like an evil corporation. So that should be fun. Brimstone Incorporated, and uh, you know, if you're interested in stuff from James L. Edwards, see if you can friend him on Facebook, and then you know, talk to him and send him an, uh, an IM, and I'm sure he will figure out a way to get you a movie, get you some moolah, 
And um, you can get the Blu-rays too if you want, or if you can just go for the blue or the DVDs like I did. And there you go. So that is the Moo Cows haul for June of 2021. And um, you know, the thing is, is at the moment I'm packing up and moving, so I don't really have time to do sort of our normal shtick, unfortunately. So still haven't figured out where I'm going to be landing, but don't you worry, the moo cow will end up in the barn of his choosing somewhere very soon. It's just in between time, I'm going to have to be out in the pasture munching some grass, and that's okay. I'll, I'll scrub around it for now. But any cow, thank you very, very much. Uh, I'm going to uh, have Moody do his uh, haul separate and then he'll edit them both together. I don't know if he's going first or going second, but in case I end up going second, I just want to say thanks to everybody for sticking it out all this time and watching our haul Blu-rays. I don't know a whole lot of people who get to watch it, but some people do, and it's kind of fun. And when you're a, a nerd collector of movies like, like I am and like Moody is, it's nice to see other people who are interested too. So... You know, if you see the movie on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, you know, please send us a like or put in a comment. Let us know what movies you've been hauling over the past few months. And uh, maybe we'll give us an idea and we'll get a chance to check them out. In any event, we'll see you next time and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, my uh, haul. Uh, Paul did his and uh, now it's mine. So, um, we're going to go into, uh, Blu-rays first. Uh, so, uh, since I've started the show Hooked on Hitchcock, I've been buying a lot of H Hitchcock, uh, movies. And so the first one that we got here is The Trouble with Harry. So, there you go. Uh, we're going to be doing this for H Hooked on Hitchcock, uh, I think it's going to be in August. So, uh, then... Uh, I got a bunch of stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, so we're going to talk first. Here's a movie called Silencer, which I'm kind of interested in seeing. Uh, there you go. Then there's the Humanity Bureau. That looks kind of fun with Nicolas Cage. I think Paul's got a couple of these too himself. But he got one of his other hauls. Distorted, I know he has as well. I've been... I kind of want to see it's got Christina Ricci and John Cusack. So that'll be fun. And then we've got Her Name Was Krista. Uh, which I'm really excited to, to own. Um, I've seen it, you know. So uh, I actually got to see it a while back. And so I uh, really enjoyed it. And so now I can have like the commentary and other stuff. Um, you can get it from James L. Edwards. I think Paul also got it, but I get I think he got it on DVD. And then there's the Embalmers, which uh yeah. So that is done by Rebecca Reinhardt, who is one of our regulars. So there you go. Uh this was this one I'm really excited uh to dive into. I'm friends with a lot of people from it, so really excited. I haven't watched it yet, but I will. All right. Wow, this is a small haul, so you'll bear with me. All right, so these are all my Dollar Tree haul uh, here, and then I've got two that I've actually ordered on Amazon that are actually going to be uh, part of Indie Film Cafe. So uh, this is a triple feature. It's got Long Time Dead, My Little Eye, and Hood Rat starring Ice-T. So there you go. Uh, so that should be fun. This is Vanishing on 7th Street. I think Paul got me this. or Well, he had already had another copy of it. And it's got some like making of stuff and commentary and everything. So that's going to be fun. Uh, the Gothic Harvest. That sounds interesting. With Bill Mosley, Lynn Shea, and Sophia Madison. So that sounds like fun. Dark by Noon, which Paul also got me, and it's, uh, I've already, already also bought, so, there you go, uh, Knights of the Damned, I want to see this, it looks kind of cool, if you look back, there's a, I don't know if that's actually in there like that, but that's kind of cool, there's a dragon, so, always fun to see dragon movies. 
The Eyes of My Mother, starring or er, directed by Nicholas Pe uh, Pesci. Uh, kind of interested in seeing this. Um, so that was fun. Then there's a movie called Dark House, and it's got two other movies: Grave Secrets, The Legacy of Hill Tr Hilltop Drive, and Empty Rooms. So interesting. Um, then there's a, I guess, uh, Peter Pan story, um, Neverland, uh, and this has, like, an interesting, um, group of things. It's got, like, Rice, I, I always say his name wrong, Rice Ifens, uh, Anna Friel, J Charlie Rowe, Bob Hoskins, and Keira Knightley. So, awesome. That looks like fun. I think it's, is it BBC? No, it's RHI, so. All right, cool. And then these are the two that are going to be on, um, uh, was it on IFC that I picked? Uh, one is Killer Biker Chicks, which I'm, I've already watched, and it's definitely going on IFC. And one I saw a while back, and uh, I think I rented it from Netflix when you could rent the, when I could rent DVDs. I, I don't do that anymore. But uh, it's called eyes of fire and uh feel the heat and aka buck naked arson so this is also going to be on ifc so there you go those are mine so uh, paul just did his and stick around for an update on what's going on with the, both of us together okay bye hey everybody uh thank you guys for watching our uh little videos that we did uh sadly he's busy and you know so he can't do this together and i mean we have no idea when we'll be able to get back I'm to doing moving stuff moving to a new barn which i haven't bought yet so i'm kind of in between places right now so things are a little up in the air but uh it's okay we'll still try to bring you some content and we'll uh do what we can exactly so uh we just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in july uh well technically for him not a lot uh <laughs> except for his like you know stuff that he's doing that's why i've been trying to get all my ifc stuff done ahead of time and all the other content done actually ahead of time. we were, that wasn't why we planned it you mm -hmm. know like we just were like oh let's just get some extra content and then bam all of this happened right, and it right. was like and it's always good to do as much work ahead of time as you can exactly um but yeah so it july is gonna be sort of cray cray period anyway there's actually a lot of uh podcasts that are kind of taking breaks right now uh there are uh, a lot of uh we're, I'm, I'm mainly trying to make it so that we get like eight or ten episodes up to uh december so we're trying you know we're trying to get everything so for the rest of the year ready for you guys and so there's a lot of content that's getting made um i'm still mad busy with a lot of zoom you know uh reviews and other things so there's just a lot going on with ifc i mean it's it's which is great great you know but really i think july may be sort of a um, a duller month for a lot of stuff uh, but there will be some great content. We've still we will still have IFCs for you. I mean, we we'll, we've talked about that. That right. won't the bomb go away. Can drop and you'll still get IFC episodes. Exactly. Like that, those will still happen. Um, so no matter what. Uh, but so yeah, I've got one that I'm doing uh, through Zoom, and then he's got his two already. In like, fact, we can do know. a whole bunch of crappy '80s Mad Max ripoff movies. You know, post-apocalyptic where wasteland movies. Uh, we haven't even touched that genre yet, so... <laughs> we haven't done that yet, no. Not yet. We will. One day. Maybe we'll do, like, Slipstream. That was there a good There you one. go. But, uh, no, there's a lot of... There's a lot of movies that we still haven't... We haven't even touched. I mean, we can only do 12 each, you know, every year. At and least until we get some financial backing. I know. Well, you know, yeah, it would be nice to It'd be able be nice. to do this. It would be nice to do this once a week or something mm. at some day. Um, maybe fifth season, you know, who knows, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're literally still in our fourth season. We're so excited. We can't, we love this, you know, what we're doing with you guys. Um, as far as anything else, there's really right now, things are just sort of at a standstill. There's nothing really going on. I think August might be a, 
a little bit more crazy. So at the end of uh, July, we could talk about that. But yeah, and scares that care is coming up. In scares August. that care yeah. is in late July, yeah. early August. Early so August, yeah. there you go. We'll be able to talk to you guys after scares that care. And so we're hoping to get some really cool uh, people for that. Maybe um, we do an update while we're there, possibly. That'd you be nice. That'd be nice. Maybe we could do an interview or two, maybe. We'll um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I mean, we're not doing a table this year, so that means we're free to sort of wander around and do whatever. And chat with people cool. and see yeah. what we can do. So yeah. it'll be nice. Uh, we're we're going to try to get as much content as we possibly can. So that will include, uh, you know, possibly getting some interviews and or, you know, like well, like we did with the uh, the Fuzzy Monkey guys and yeah, stuff we'll, like that. We'll pester someone. Oh, yeah. They'll be... <laughs> I'm sure there will be people who want yeah. to get their name out there. <laughs> we'll pester indie. someone and they'll they'll give in to make us go away. But I'm I'm really excited for for scares I care because uh, I've never missed one yet. So I thought I was going to last year, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it didn't happen. So I didn't miss one. So the seventh year I'll I'll still be there for for that. So I'm I'm very happy. I've only missed the first one. You only missed? Did you miss the first one? Yeah. Damn, I don't know why we didn't tell you after... Crackles I didn't know it existed. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. we should have said something to you. Yeah, um, oh well. It was the, yeah, it happens, whatever. But uh, he came out for every other one, so mm-hmm. there you go. And he's, We're not stopping. We're going to go to, as, if not all of the rest. That's either. right. If you don't um, know about it, it's a 501c3 charitable organization that involves horror people, horror icons, horror movie uh, directors, writers, actors, everybody involved... And all the money goes to charity, and um, you know it's just a great, great cause. Exactly, yeah, and uh, it, it, it it's in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, it's like literally ten minutes up the street from me, so I'm very happy to have that. Are they still doing the second one? I thought it was like Wisconsin or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I know they were talking about it, but I don't know if they ever did mm. it or not. Well, the original one is still in Williamsburg, Virginia. So yeah. local peeps. Come on out, check it out. You'll enjoy it. Trust yep, me. Yep, exactly. So, yep, so we got that going on um, in July. But aside from that, really, it's, it, th- I still have, we still have a podcast, but like Hollywood Boulevard podcast is taking a break. Um, there's still my normal podcasts. A lot of them are still happening, you know, and everything and, and stuff. So. Sexploitation Sleazecast has a couple more episodes, and then that's going to wind up. And then... Uh, probably replace it with something. I'm not 100% sure yet what, but something will come out. We'll definitely keep, keep giving you content. Um, oh, and in July, so coming up, uh, is uh, the first episode back for What the Fuck Friday. Yay. So that'll be late July. Oh, I've got plenty of movies for that. I know. So he's, <laughs> he's still got to, like, uh, you know, do stuff with me for that. But, uh, because we are, I guess mine was first, so mm-hmm. then it's going to be his, and then, um, and we are we are planning. It, it hasn't, nothing has been shot or anything yet, but we are planning to bring back uh, film freaks and uh, what is it? Um, Criterion Watch. Criterion. Yeah. Well, Criterion Watch I think will be next year. Okay. But I know film freaks. We're definitely going to be bringing back. Like you've you've told me, you can't do like a million things. But we also still got Shark Attack Sundays. Shark Attack Sundays. And tons of other shit that's going on so house shark didn't that just come in this just came out today yeah there you go you know which is on sunday so with madeline deering with madeline deering so there you go um the so, shark in a house it's house shark pretty much <laughs> you know so it's it is you know they don't lie you know this is true it's, it's not you know it's not a house shark but then it's there's no shark in the house and you notice matthew Furman wrote it and said i love it so he likes the movie. <laughs> I, I don't know if you like the movie or our review, but I hope you liked our review. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, please, if you see our reviews on YouTube or uh, Facebook, whatever, let us know. No. Yeah. Give I us mean, a like, give us a subscribe. We try to be honest, and and also we try to understand the plight of the independent filmmakers. Right. Uh, he really, really liked uh, House Shark. Uh, that's his it third took time. Took a while. Yeah, it, it grew on me. It grew on me like a manta ray attached to a shark cleaning up the parasites. It just exactly. Uh, you know, first time through, I was like, "What the heck is this crap?" And then the second time, I'm like, "All right, this isn't so bad." And third time, I'm like, "Holy shit, this is fun." <laughs> exactly. So yeah, sometimes movies will do that. It's amazing. Sometimes. Um. So yeah, that's that's about it, really. Uh, th- just keep checking back with more information. Uh, 
Uh, go to Indie Film Cafe Network on Facebook uh, and the Indie Film Cafe, um, uh, what is a group, you know, and we'll be posting things on there. Uh, I don't know if we announced it before, but we have an amazing social media um, uh, intern who's been helping us out, uh, Sarah Atkins. Yay! Been really doing a lot, um, and she's been posting and helping us out and everything. We. We really adore having her around uh, because otherwise we have to do all the work and right, right, right. and we already like swamped Thank you, with Sarah. shit. So, Thank you. Yeah. So we really appreciate her. Um, and shout out to the Sarah monster. Yeah. And she comes on our show. She was on Horror Film Lovers, which is also oh, taking we're gonna a break. get her for a few stinkers. That's that. I can't wait. <laughs> oh yeah, she wants to come out and visit and Yay! just shoot uh, podcasts, do podcasts all day long. Mm-hmm. So let's uh, let's plan for that for yes, sure. Please. Yes, please. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. I think because okay. I don't think there's anybody else or anything they need to no. make mention to. Um, keep checking those sites. Indiefilmcafe.reviews indiefilmcafe.poppy.com uh, patreon.com backslash indiefilmcafe we could really use just a dollar uh, one dollar one dollar and you get a uh, oh that shit came out on Friday too patreon only stuff patreon yeah. only episode came out on Friday so if you like our RFC episodes check out our patreon only because that's the only way you're going to get some of these other episodes exactly we did Octoman on that <laughs> one so we I got to review it because I didn't review it the last time it was you Lila and Bobby mm-hmm. so I got to review it this time so that was fun oh yeah um, slap slap yeah that was just, <laughs> yeah. I just wish I videotaped uh, Jackie doing the uh, the Octomane We dance. can get her to do it, and she can. We can turn it into like a TikTok meme or something. It'll be fun. <laughs> She'll love it. She would love it. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, tune in next month for more information and more stuff that's happening. Uh, and uh, let us know what you guys think. And also, once again, please join our Patreon because every dollar counts, and you get extra bonus stuff. So thank you and bye. bye.